Hello friends, this video on probability part 26 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. If you're watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 24. Now we have learned random variables. Now we'll learn the mean of random variables. We have some random variables. We'll try to find the mean of those random variables. For example, was I told you that we have some family and which has uh, n number of families, which has two, three or four members. We want to select some family and we want to find the average of the number of uh, members in the family. There also we use mean, right? So, and the mean is denoted by mu. So, the values are, the values of x can be x1, x2, x3. For example, in the case of family, the family member can be 2, 3, 4, right? In, when you throw a, let's suppose, coin twice, the number of heads can be 0, 1 or 2, right? So those are the number of uh, x1, x2, x, the, the variables, the random variables and the probabilities of the random variables are these. We have found these also, right? We have found the probabilities of the random variables. So the mean is nothing but sigma pixi. So till now if you see what we have done is, we have found xi, right, and then pxi. So we told that x can be 0, 1, 2 and for this let's suppose this guy was 1 by 4. 1 by 2 and 1 by 4, something like this we have done. So we, we know xi, we know pi xi. Now if you want to find the mean, you can do the thing but you can multiply these two, multiply these two, multiply these two and add. Example this you get 0, this you get 1 by 2 and this you get 1 by, 1 by 4 into also 1 by 2 and then you add. And that is what the mean, mean is denoted by mu, nothing but sigma xi pi. We will take some examples to solve this, to understand this. So here a pair of die is thrown and the random variable x that denotes sum of the number that appears on the two die. So, so you have two die and you throw and you find the sum of the numbers and that is nothing but the value of x. Find the mean of x. So the question is you throw this die 100 times, 200 times and you want to find what is the mean or the sum of the numbers, correct. So here if you see the sum of the numbers, the minimum can be 1 plus 1, 2 and the maximum can be 12, right, 6 plus 6. So it can vary from 2 to 12. First let's define the uh, sample space. So it can be, first guy can give 1, second guy can give 1. First can give 1, second can give 2, first 1, second 3, 1, 4, 1, 5, 1, 6. This is one set. You start with 2, 2, 1, 2, 2, 2, 3, 2, 4, 2, 5, 2, 6. Second set. 3, 1, 3, 2, 3, 3, 3, 4, 3, 5, 3, 6. This is another set. 4, 1, 4, 2, 4, 3. 4, 4, 4, 5, 4, 6, another set, 5, 1, 5, 2, 5, 3, 5, 4, 5, 5, 5, 6, another set, 6, 1, 6, 2, 6, 3, 6, 4, 6, 5, 6, 6, another set. For places we have, we have, we have sum is equal to 2 is this guy, for sum is equal to 3, we, if you see this 2 will give 3 sum. For 4, you can take these values, right? Similarly, for 5, you can take these values. Similarly, you can for 6, you can take these values. For 7, you can take these values. For 8, you can take these values, 6 plus 2, like this. For 9, you can take some, 9, you can take these values. For 10, you can take these values. For 11, you can take this value, 12, you can take this value. Right? So, if you see sum is equal to 1, you want to find probability of x is equal to 2, actually, the minimum is 2. How many cases you are getting? 1. Total, how many possible combinations? 6 into 6, 36, if you see here. So, probability of x is equal to 1 is 2 is 36. Similarly, probability of x is equal to 3 is how much? 2 numbers for which sum is 36, so uh, 2 number of the sum is 3, so 2 by 36. 
variety for x is equal to 4. The sum of numbers is equal to 4. They are 3 numbers. So it is 3 by 36. The variety of x is equal to 5. They are, if you see for 5, they are 4 numbers. Right? 1, 2, 3, 4. So this 4 by 36. The variety of sum is 6 is nothing but there are 5 numbers whose sum is 6. The variety of x equal to 7. They are, you see, 6 numbers for which sum is 7. x is equal to 8. For 8, if you see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, there are 5 numbers for which the sum is 8. The variety for x is equal to 9. 1, 2, 3, 4. There are 4 numbers for which sum is 9. Similarly, for probability x is equal to 10, they are 1, 2, 3 numbers. For 11 as sum, they are 2 numbers 6, 5, and 5, 6. 2 numbers. For 12 as sum, is only one number six and six. This is my probability distribution. So I am told that mu is nothing but sigma x i p i, where i is equal to two to twelve. Correct. So we'll put the value. I is equal to two into p two. P two is what one by thirty six. I is equal to three. P three is what two by thirty six plus i is equal to 4 into p4 3 by 36 i is equal to 5 p5 4 by 36 i is equal to 6 p6 5 by 36 i is equal to 7 p7 6 by 36 i is equal to 8 p8 5 by 36 i is equal to 9 p9 5 by 36 I is equal to 7, 5, sorry, this is 4, yeah, 9, P9 is 4 by 36, I is equal to 10, 3 by 36, I is equal to 11, P11, 2 by 36, I is equal to 12, and P by 36, P is, uh, P11 is 1 by 36, so if you add all these, what you get is, and that is my answer. Not that difficult, but yeah, I can understand it's a little, little lengthy where you have to find all the variables, you know, uh, values of x that is 2 to 12, varieties of all the values of x, and then you have to multiply. Let's take one simple example here to find the mean number of heads in three toss of a fair coin. So I have one coin and I toss it thrice. Right, so if you see the distribution can be you can get head or tail first time, then you may get a head or tail, head or tail, you may get a head tail, head tail, again head tail, head tail. So if you see the distribution, you'll get something like head and head, head head tail. So if you see these possible values are possible. So I'm looking for the number of heads. So my x is nothing but number of heads. So it can have zero value, two value, two value, one, two, one, one, and so so this is three. There are three heads here, right? So it can have x can have values from x can have values from zero, one, two, and three. So let's find the variety of x equal to zero. This number of heads equal to zero is nothing but the variety of head head head. You see, there is nothing but 1 by 8 because there are 8 possible options and this is 1. The variety of x is equal to 1. You see there are 3 positions we have this thing. So this becomes 3 by 8. The variety of x is equal to 2. Also if you see, there are 3 positions where you get x is equal to 2, 3 by 8. The variety of x is equal to 3, if you see, there are only 1 position, you get x is equal to 3, 1 by 8. So if you see the mean is nothing but sigma p i x i, right? And x is nothing but i is nothing but from 
zero to three. So x zero is what zero zero into one by plus one for one it is three by eight. two for two it is three by eight. plus three for three it is one by eight. And what you get is three by eight. So the mean number of head for the three toss of coin is three by two. Correct. Simple one. We have to find the variety. Uh, and first, you define the random variable. Random variable here is the number of heads, and that can vary from zero, one, two, or three. You find the probability distribution for these, and you find the mean. Two dice are thrown simultaneously. If the x denotes the number of sixes, find the mean of expectation. Nothing but mean of x. So the number of sixes can be one, six, two, six, or both can get six. Right. So probability since is the independent thing. So probability of getting six is what one by six, and probability of not getting six is what five by six, right? Because all independent thing. So for x is equal to zero, that means there is no six. I'm looking for six dash six dash. That is nothing but probability of six dash into probability of six dash. That is five by six into five by six. For x is equal to one, you may get six in the first throw. Or you may get six in the second throw, right? This is nothing but six in the first throw is one by six into six dash five by six plus six dash that is five by six into six one by six, right? So what you get is ten by thirty-seven. Similarly, in both the throw you want six. Then I'm looking for probability of six six. That is probability of six into probability of six. And that is nothing but one by six into one by six because probability of six is one by six. And what you get is one by thirty-six. You want to find mu, nothing but x i p x i. I is from zero to two here, so i is zero. For zero, it is twenty-five by thirty-six. Twenty-five by thirty-six plus one. For one, it is ten by thirty-six. For two, two it is one by thirty-six. So we solve this, you get one by three. So you see that the mean number of sixes is one by three. Correct. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.